What's up, folks? Joey Image here, driving to Lancaster, Pennsylvania for Three Legacies Wrestling. Um, so anyway, I posted on Twitter a while back that I was going to start doing a uh, series on my YouTube channel of just videos about wrestling stories um, in my own career, obviously, not just random stories. Anybody can do that. But stuff that stuff in my own career, stuff I did, whatever, stuff I saw, whatever. Um, a lot from probably my first 15 years in the, in the business when I was actually in the ring. Uh, since then, I'm now backstage and on commentary. And I'm only in front of the crowd when I'm doing commentary or for GSW, in which I am the general manager. So I was going to do a series of videos of just stories. Um, not in any kind of order, not in any kind of length. You know, I mean, I might pop on and do a one-minute story or I might pop on and tell something that's a little bit longer. Um, and I was just kind of going through my mind and what, 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 you know, what left, what is left of it that works and thinking about what can I talk about maybe for like a first episode of this series. So, uh, forgive me if I'm not looking right at you. I am driving. So I think, um, I found a DVD a while back that I didn't even realize I had. So let's talk about that. Uh, this DVD was from September of 2005, and the Boston Red Sox had won the World Series in 2004. Come on, buddy, let's go. Uh, so I was wrestling for Frank Goodman's USA Pro Wrestling in Bethpage, Long Island, New York. Um, myself against Mike Titan. I think this was my first match there, if I remember correctly. Uh, so... Whatever. This is actually the first time I met uh, the great Kevin Kelly, by the way. Follow him at Real Kevin Kelly on Twitter. Great guy. I love that guy. So anyway, uh, first time I met Elix Skipper also, which <laughs> had a hilarious one-liner at that event. Anyway, so me and Mike Titan, um, ECW ring announcer Stephen DeAngelis was our ring announcer, another great guy, and I owe him a lot for this particular, um, I don't want to say incident, this particular situation. Um, so, we, myself and Mike Titan, I think were the first match, if I remember correctly. Uh, again, this is September 2005. The most, the, the current World Series champions were the Boston Red Sox. And this was a show in New York. And again, <laughs> the Boston Red Sox were the World Series champions. And New Yorkers are not big Boston Red Sox fans, obviously. So, uh... So I come out and, uh, you know, I come out to Long Island. I meet Steven DeAngelis. I meet Mike Titan. And I told Steven DeAngelis, like, listen, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, we were just talking. I wasn't asking for help or advice or favors or anything. I, we were just having a conversation. And I happened to say, hey, a lot of these people aren't going aren't gonna to really know me. Like, I haven't wrestled in New York a lot. I wrestled in New York just one, one very often. I spent... God, I spent like 85% of my career in Pennsylvania, my second home. Um, so I said, a lot of people aren't going to know me. I'm probably not going to not going to get a lot of heat because I am the heel. Um, but whatever, we're just going to go out there, do our whatever it is, eight, eight to ten minutes or whatever, and let's have some fun. And Mike Titan is like, that guy's like 6'4", all right? I'm 5'8". So <laughs> it almost looked like a mismatch, but, uh, but Mike Titan was very good with me. Love that guy. I think he was, like, not a regular wrestler on their roster. I believe he was a uh, ring crew or staff that helped set up the buildings, things like that. And he would be uh, almost like the tryout guy. So if they were booking a guy that they hadn't booked before and they wanted to see if, I guess, he was good enough to keep around, they would put him in there with Mike Titan, who would then give his opinion afterwards or whatever. Um, I think that's, that's the way I understand it from back then. Again, this is 2005 almost 20 years ago. So, uh, so Steven D'Angelo says, uh, after I say, you know, I'm not probably not going to get, not going to get a lot of heat, but let's just go out there and have fun, blah, blah, blah. Steven D'Angelo looks at me and says, don't worry, I got you. So I don't know what he means. Okay, fine. So fast forward to bell time, show starts, I get announced, you know, I'm just yelling at people, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I'm the greatest, whatever the hell. And as I, uh, as I predicted, not a lot of people are really caring or, you know, I'm getting heat, but not like I want, right? So Steven DeAngelis 
takes the microphone, he's introducing me, and he says, uh, from the, there's cops over here taking, whoa, that guy's spun around facing the wrong way on a highway, Jesus, so Stephen D'Angelo's, uh, is doing the introductions, and he announces me as, from the home of the world champion Boston Red Sox, <laughs> weighing at, whatever, 210 pounds, whatever it was at the time, Joey Evans, as soon as he said that, these people went nuts, screaming and fucking yelling at me, and you're a piece of shit, and the Red Sox suck, and fuck you, and all that shit, so during my entrance, I walked up to Steven after I got in the ring, and I went up and said, oh my god, like under my breath, oh my god, thank you so much, man, that was great, and he looks at me like, uh, not scared, he looked at me like, uh, what's the word for it, where like, you're not scared, but you're like, like, whoa, like almost like backing off, and then he grabbed the mic, he picked the microphone back up to his mouth and repeated, uh, once again, from the home of the Boston Red Sox, the World Series champions, and they just went more, and they just went in on me more, man, it was great, we had a little, whatever, seven, eight minute match, whatever it was, I think, uh, Mike Titan might have went over, it was great, and, um, I thanked him again after the match, and I said, let me just ask you one quick question. What? Why did you repeat the? Um, why did you repeat the introduction? Like, uh, I, you know, I had already had a ton of heat, and he said, uh, he said, well, you came up and thanked me, so I didn't want it to look like you were thanking me or something. Intimidated. That's the word. Not scared. He looked intimidated before he repeated it. So he said, I didn't want it to look like you were thanking me. I wanted to look like you were a heel forcing me and yelling at me to, to repeat that because uh, we're in New York and Boston is the champions. So uh, I wanted to look like you demanded that I repeat that line and that introduction to get more heat and it worked. So again, thank you, Stephen DeAngelis. I love you, buddy. Uh, thanks to Mike Titan. Thanks to Frank Goodman. Thanks to uh, everybody listening. Everyone that was there that yelled at me that night. Thank you very much. And again, sorry for how long this is, but um, I'm going to start doing more of these uh, over time, and hopefully there's some fun stuff. Anything you want to ask me or want me to talk about, post it in the comments down below on YouTube or shoot me a tweet. I'll do that too. And uh, I don't know. Take care. Thanks for watching.